up there, you guys? My name is Michael Lee Murphy, and this is yet another meta game minute. And today I want to talk about previews. I don't know why I did a little magician magic with it, but I'm talking about being teased, being titillated. And basically, is there such a thing as too much buildup, too much hype, too much lead in, etc.? So for me, the reason I want to do this is because right now, I'm waiting for the new Star Wars trailer to drop. It's coming on during Monday Night Football, and right there, I have the TV on, and I'm just waiting for that preview. Because I really want to see it. I want to see any footage, any new shot will do. Just give me something Star Wars related. And I've always been this way with movies, TV shows, things like that. I'm an actor. Uh, you know, movies and everything have always been my passion. And... I've always been very voracious in my reading any news about a new project, uh, something that an actor or an actress has been attached to, the first trailer, the first teaser, whatever it might be, I've taken in all of it. Before the first Lord of the Rings came out, there was a 30 minute special that aired and Nick and I recorded it on VHS because this took place during old timey time. And we watched that half hour special, which included a maybe minute long scene from the Minds of Moria every day. We watched that until the first movie, Fellowship of the Ring, came out. Every day. And it never got old. Never made me want to see the movie less. I've always been that way where I will watch and then rewatch and then rewatch and then reread information about movies and things uh, in, in just in, in anticipation for something that I'm interested in. And it never really seems to get in the way of kind of my expectations of it or anything like that. Now, I'm assuming people do this with board games as well. Because I gotta remember, bring it back to board games, Mike. Get out of Star Wars, get out of Lord of the Rings. Whew. Bring it back to board games, Mike. Get together. Do you take in board game news every day? Are you monitoring board game geek? Are you looking out there on the Dice Tower or your other favorite channels to see what the new news is? Or do you kind of let things develop a little more naturally? You maybe wait for something to come out and then start to look into it a little bit, maybe watch a preview. I'm just curious. Uh, it's something that with board games that haven't gone that down deep yet, Nick I think is a little more that way. He's a little more on top of the news and I kind of use him as my news source like, what's going on in the world, man? What, what should we play next? but I'm sure that there's people that really get interested in. Do you like to know just a little bit less about what's coming so that maybe you leave yourself more open for surprise or do you want to know as much information as you can before you play something and does that only then maybe heighten the experience for you? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyway, those are some of my experiences with previews and things. I want to know how many times did you watch the Star Wars trailer? Did you like it? Did that one scene really cool? I still want to come on. Why? I'm trying to drag this out in hopes that it comes on the TV. <sighs> Nothing yet. Anyway, get us up on social media and all the places below. Check out our podcast, This Game is Broken. The new episode drops tomorrow. So excited, you guys. There's links and things below. And I hope you guys have a great day. I don't even got anything else to add. Just remember, if you're using the forest, <laughs> you're trying to destroy the one ring. More meta. More better. Huh?